Welcome to the Kingdom Business Forum, a program where we advance the kingdom of God on earth through business. I'm Vicki Norris, and with me is our co-host, Patrice Sage, and we're obviously on remote today. That's right, that's right. We're here at Mission Connection. Uh, Vicki, this year Mission Connection has stepped it up a notch. And it's a really, uh, uh, it's regional an annual, missions conference. Well, annual, it's a major annual mission conference. I mean, over 10,000 people uh, come here every year. Um, several missions organizations and churches display their booth. And the whole idea is to ignite people more about the importance of overseas mission. But what they've done unique this year is that they stepped up the whole notion of incorporating business as mission into the mix. Um, so important. that people can understand that within the context of mission, uh, industry, entrepreneurship, economics, business is not just relevant. But it's key right. to um, to where we're going as a as a as a church, as a ministry, as a nation, as a world. Yes. Uh, because if you think about it, traditional ministry without business um, is is not effective at mm -hmm. the end of the day. And you know, you guys have a booth here, right? Nehemiah we Project do. International do. Ministries has a booth. So this place is incredible. We recommend that you come out um, right. in the future. That's Mission right. Connection with an X dot org, mm -hmm. great organization. And we are so pleased to do this series on business as mission. And with us today is our guest, Dr. Steve Rundle, Associate Professor of Economics at Biola University. His teaching and research interests are focused on the intersection between international economics and world mission. Welcome to the program, Steve. A pleasure to be here. Steve, first, uh, Biola has a strong commitment to this whole idea of integration of faith and business. Of integration Th of faith in any faith of your, in any whatever sphere. Whatever Tell us yes. a bit about that in terms of what Biola is committed to this process. Well, Biola is committed to equipping people in whatever God has called them, and to bring their faith to work in in uh, any context. And, and so, obviously, they have a seminary, they have a missions program, and they're sending people home and abroad to, to equip people uh, from pulpits and, and so forth. But uh, they're also uh, committed to just uh, preparing people to be ambassadors of Jesus wherever, wherever Jesus calls Your them. Your specific focus, though, is on the area of economics and business. Yes, I teach in the School of Business, the okay. Kroll School of Business. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does that work? How does that look like? Tell us a bit about how you do what you do within the context of Baula. Well, all of our courses are taught by committed Christian uh, business professors, and they all come at it from this approach that uh, these are not uh, students that are choosing a second class path. Uh, Hallelujah. In, in, yes. Uh -huh. uh, but that God has equipped them uniquely to to do business, and, and they enjoy business for a reason. That's how God made them, mm -hmm. and they shouldn't apologize or feel embarrassed. And, and our role as teachers, then, is to equip them to be excellent business professionals, uh, professionals who bring their faith with them. And, and so I teach in many of the upper division courses when they're juniors and seniors, and um, I get to start to uh, give them a vision for the world uh, not that home, the domestic market, is not important either, but my primary focus is on globalization and how God is using globalization, the pressures mm. from globalization, mm. to, to force businesses of all kinds to, to start thinking globally in mm. terms of their, their supply chains, their customers, uh, their, com their competitors now are, are from all over the world. Mm. And, and so whether they like it or not, uh, m most business people now have to have a global perspective on things. And Even the staffing is global the world. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I have a student in an MBA class uh, this semester who uh, she owns a restaurant in Los Angeles. And, um, and I said, well, with some, some exceptions like uh, hair salons, perhaps, and restaurants. And she said, oh, no, I'm now getting my menus printed in India. Wow. I have to. It just... Wow. It, uh, but uh, this creates a lot of opportunities for Christian yes. business people. So, Steve, beyond the natural process of understanding how global enterprise works mm -hmm. and the cross-cultural business, tell us how you integrate the faith element to that and how that, 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 that plays together. Well, uh, the understanding, proper understanding of vocation is a big part of that and that God uh, calls people first to himself, but then secondarily to a, a another calling. Maybe it's a 
a uh, full-time stay-home mom or a, uh, someone to work in a restaurant, a chef or something is called into that field. And, and, and that's where these people feel God's pleasure, when they are properly aligned with God's calling. Mm. And, uh, and so it, it starts with helping the students understand they, they need to find that space. And for some, it may be as an accountant. I've heard delightful stories of accountants who just gush with the joy of serving the Lord when they get to serve a firm in their accounting office. Yeah, yeah. I, Accountants <laughs> no, gush? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, they, they can gush at times, but um, others, it's some other area of business, but, uh, and helping them, encouraging them, and giving them opportunities to, to try things out, internships and, and that sort of thing and find God's call mm -hmm. within the business realm. And some, in fact, choose halfway along the line that, that this isn't me, too. And that's, that's good, too. I feel we've done a good deed there if we help people identify that this isn't their, their call. That's right. Yeah. So you've written a book called Great Commission Companies, The Emerging Role of Business and Missions. And you are going to be speaking here at Mission Connection with a presentation entitled Starting a Great Commission Company, where you'll address the importance of income production. So is that derived from the book? Are those, uh, are those um, themes that you're going to be presenting here from the book? And talk about income production. and. You know, I when I first started writing this book and had the idea and then invited Tom Steffen to co-author it with me. Tom Steffen, by the way, is a, a missiologist and with a lot of church planting experience and and I was I was curious and needed help thinking through how these two work side by side, a a church planting vision with a, a business vision. But um, in any event, I it was not my goal to write a how to book. Mm. I'm I'm an economist by training. I have started a number of businesses and run some businesses. I have that experience, but I, I still don't consider myself a business expert, and I wasn't intending to write a how to run or how to start a business because there's literally thousands of books, as you know, yes. out there. There's no need to write another one. Mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately, uh, the, the publisher and the marketplace, mm -hmm. I was just getting a lot of encouragement to include a chapter or two on just simple how to help me as, as um, someone with very little experience in this area uh, think through the process. And so uh, there are a couple chapters in, in the book now that are I consider how to. Uh, and it is a little bit different because it's not just a product market you have to think about and all the things in terms of a business plan. But if you want to have a kingdom impact, there's also some other things you need to think about and uh, like what? Could you give it, yeah. yeah, give us yes. some examples. Well, um, what what exactly is the quote unquote ministry impact? And and I, I put quotes around that because I think even the making of widgets is pleasing to God Amen. and is a ministry, it's a service to the community yes. of its own kind. And yes. you know Steve, I want to make sure that uh, viewers catch this. One thing I appreciate about how you've been sharing so far. You've you you've been emphasizing the idea of calling in all vocations. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're taking a different dimension. You have the idea that every everything that we do within a company mm -hmm. is ministry. Yeah. And it's worship. Not just when we interact mm -hmm. with a mm -hmm. customer, but even when we're making widgets. That's important to understand. Yeah. 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 And a lot of Christians, even today, still think of ministry as something they do on the on their spare time, That's after right. work, and this sort of thing. And they they need to understand that if if you're properly aligned with God and and He has called you into that, you are serving the Lord. You're serving mankind. There's a few industries that are not pleasing to God, and so that would I would not consider that ministry. But if you're serving, even if it's as mundane as a widget, you know what is a widget anyway, yeah. right? But uh, if if there's uh, if you're serving society with that, it's it's honorable, and it's ministry. And we have that, in fact, in our in the lobby of our school of business now on the wall in, in very large font. We have business as ministry, and it has really changed the climate. Uh, our school, as well as many other Christian universities, I suspect, have have struggled with this. Business students have always felt sort of second class, mm -hmm. even on campus. Mm -hmm. right. And and now it's a reminder that, yes, I'm being equipped just as much as those nurses and those pastors, I'm being equipped for ministry as well. Yes. 
Well, and historically, people have always said, I felt a higher call, and we're supposed to all conclude that that means that now you're going to become a pastor. And so you're going to leave the place where you have thousands Mm. of people under your sphere of influence, and you're going to go and try to, you know, Mm -hmm. so I think the business person has always felt like, you know, where's my place? Yeah. But there's, it, it can go beyond that. And this is where I sometimes have to encourage uh, business people, Christians who are sincere about their faith, they love the Lord and love their business, and, and help them think through, okay, beyond that, what else could you perhaps be doing? And we heard a testimony last night from Bill Job about how he has found ways to, to reach into the beggar communities and the mm-hmm. handicapped and, and so on and minister to them in ways that uh, many charities would, would, would approach it differently, certainly, and some may not even be able to do it with the credibility that, that he does and the impact that he, that he has. And so businesses can have a, a unique extra ministry impact and and especially in the neediest parts of the world i think it's an important story to get out there uh and um steve lastly are you seeing the reception be more and more are you pleased with what's happening national and global in terms of this whole concept yes yeah i you know and and you've probably seen this too it's it's bubbling up everywhere around the world it's not a single charismatic speaker who has been rallying the church to get around this idea it's it's everywhere simultaneous uh spontaneous cultures you find christians wherever there are christians you find people suddenly embracing this in a fresh way and and so now our role is what do we do with that and and i get excited because i see this as as a, god is reinventing the the whole missions enterprise that's right, that's right. how um, you do ministry period right, right. we yeah. used to think of it in in one context that's and right. not a, a charity context a, a mission agency that's funded by the donations that's of right. the church people that's and right. so on and this is how we funded ministries of all kinds mm-hmm. and and ministry naturally by our way of thinking happened within charities That's and right. businesses if they if they did anything honorable it was donated to some of their yeah. profits to wow. ministry and and now i think god is helping wake us up to see that no there's this this i want to use this Amen. as That's well right. that yeah. is awesome thank you so much steve yes oh i love this you know god is deinstitutionalizing is. Uh, everything amen. and yep. he is individualizing our personal responsibility to bring forth the kingdom and i've used to know that he is the author at least co-author of the great commission company which is a book that has mm-hmm. impacted a lot of people uh, it's an honor to meet you today. Keep up the good Thank work. You. Also Pleasure the author here. of Economic Justice in a Flat World. That's so you can right. get those books from Dr. Steve That's Rundle. Right. We thank you for mm. tuning in today to the Kingdom Business Forum. Do find us on Facebook by typing in Kingdom Business Forum. And also on YouTube at KB Forum. Thanks for tuning in.